Many military veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder have used service dogs during their treatment. Up until now, there's been no way to truly measure the effectiveness of using service dogs, but Joy is here now with what some are calling exciting results of a new study. Joy. Mary Tarek, researchers say it's important to note that service dogs do not appear to be a cure for the disorder, but the study used saliva samples from veterans with PTSD to start to define the effects of service dogs. Having a post-traumatic stress disorder service dog can have a significantly positive influence on a military veteran's health and well-being. That's not a surprise, but a new study says there may now be a way to actually measure the effects of having a service dog by studying a person's saliva. Rory Diamond is the CEO of Canines for Warriors, which provides veterans with service dogs. We know because we work with these warriors every day that the dogs work. I mean, we see it. But you know, smart people will ask us, well, can you prove it? And now we can. The nonprofit group helped with a recent study led by Purdue University, which tested two groups of veteran saliva when they first woke up in the morning. One group, suffering from PTSD, was already using service dogs. The other group, suffering from the same disorder, was on a waiting list for a service dog. The study found that the military vets using the dogs in their homes produced more of the crucial body-regulating hormone cortisol than those on the wait list. The study also found that pattern was closer to the cortisol levels of healthy adults who don't have PTSD. Military veterans also told researchers in this study they experienced less anger, less anxiety, and better sleep when using service dogs. All benefits Diamond calls miracles for PTSD sufferers. So these dogs are miracles. And uh, I wish that we knew the science perfectly, but here's what we know for sure is that they can help a warrior get through the night and sleep without being woken up by night terrors. They can help a warrior get out the front door. They help with depression. They help with just caring about being alive again. Many times they give a warrior a reason to be alive. The next step already underway involves a large scale National Institutes of Health clinical trial where researchers are studying cortisol levels over an extended period of time.